It's hard to imagine, only a decade ago, Rice Lake in Emmons County was 20 feet lower than it is today. Rising water this spring caused the State Game and Fish Department fisheries crews to act quickly. We've installed a drop structure on the outlet from Rice Lake. Uh, Rice Lake this spring reached its natural outlet for the first time really since uh, North Dakota was first uh, settled by European settlers. Uh, and that presented some problems. Usually more water means good things for fish. Uh, but in some cases the water levels rise too much and can cause some problems by allowing some invasive species to access these lakes. When Rice Lake met its natural outlet this spring, it connected the lake through a 30 mile long drainage to Lake Oahe and that provided an avenue for other fish species in Lake Oahe to make their way into Rice Lake. Rice Lake has been an outstanding fishery for decades. It's one of our premier fisheries uh, in the south central portion of North Dakota. Uh, it's got northern pike, yellow perch, and uh, especially known for its walleye population in recent years. Uh, Lake Oahe itself has over 70 different fish species in it, most of which uh, would probably be a detriment to the Rice Lake fishery. So most notably is common carp. They have a, a propensity for swimming uh, longer distances upstream. Carp have historically been present at Nusima Dam and this spring at the recently constructed Rice Lake fish barrier. Despite having about a, a three mile distance to work with uh, from Rice Lake to where it joined the, the Nusima Dam drainage, uh, there wasn't a lot of great opportunity to work in this drainage due to uh, insufficient gradient. Uh, it, Rice Lake hits its outlet and flows very gently, uh, not losing a lot of elevation uh, for the first several miles. So we were fortunate to have this about a half mile stretch here that offered a little steeper gradient uh, where we could install a, a drop structure such as this. And this project wouldn't have been possible without the collaboration from private landowners. We're very fortunate to have uh, Dwayne and Dale Nusma, uh, who also uh, enjoy Rice Lake themselves, uh, who are willing to let us conduct this project on their property. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.